Welcome back, whales. Ever heard of uploading your consciousness to a computer? What if you could live forever? Not as a ghost or a spirit, but as yourself, your thoughts, your memories, your entire consciousness preserved for eternity in a digital world. This isn't a dream from a science fiction novel. It's a future that some of the brightest minds on the planet are actively trying to build. It's called mind uploading, and it promises the ultimate prize, digital immortality. But is this technological afterlife a real possibility or just a fantasy? And if we could upload our minds, would that digital copy truly be you? For decades, the idea of separating consciousness from our fragile biological bodies has been a cornerstone of transhumanism, a movement that believes we can and should use technology to overcome our human limitations. Proponents like futurist Ray Kurzweil are famously optimistic, predicting that we could be uploading our minds to computers as early as 2045. And when you look at the headlines, it's easy to see why. Companies like Neuralink are making incredible strides in brain-computer interfaces. In 2024, we saw the first human participants controlling computers with their thoughts alone, a monumental step in connecting the human brain directly to a machine. These brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, are the first rung on the ladder to mind uploading. They prove that we can, at least in a limited way, read and interpret the electrical signals of the brain, Current technology allows people with paralysis to move robotic limbs or type on a screen just by thinking. In 2025, a man with a severe speech disability was even able to speak and sing with expression using a brain implant that translated his neural activity into words. These are life-changing breakthroughs, but they are a world away from capturing the entirety of a human mind. The first colossal challenge is the sheer complexity of the brain. Your brain contains nearly 100 billion neurons, and those neurons are connected by over 100 trillion synapses. Each of these connections has a specific strength, and their intricate dance is what gives rise to your thoughts, memories, and personality. To upload your mind, we would need to map this entire network, a structure known as your connectomy, with perfect accuracy. To put this into perspective, the largest neuroscience project in European history with 500 scientists and a budget of 600 million euros, failed to completely map the basic structure of the human brain after a decade of work. We currently have no scanner that can capture this level of detail in a living person. But even if we could build a perfect scanner and a computer powerful enough to simulate those 100 trillion connections, we would face an even bigger problem, the hard problem of consciousness. We have no scientific theory for how the physical firing of neurons creates subjective, conscious experience, the feeling of redness in a rose, the taste of chocolate, or the love for another person. We can map the information, but we have no idea how to map the experience. It's possible that consciousness is an emergent property that simply cannot be replicated in silicon, or that it relies on quantum processes that are impossible to copy. Uploading all the data in your brain might just create App Zombie, a perfect simulation of you with no inner life at all. This leads us to the most profound and unsettling question in the entire debate. If we did manage to upload your brain, would that digital person be you? This is the problem of personal identity. Imagine a scanner that could perfectly record your brain and create a digital copy. That copy would have all your memories, your personality, your hopes, and your fears. It would believe it is you, but you would still be here in your biological body watching it. Is it a transfer of consciousness or just a perfect clone? Most philosophers and neuroscientists agree that this process would create a copy, not a continuation. Your original consciousness would remain in your brain and you would eventually die. Your digital twin would live on, but your own subjective experience would end. This is where the idea of gradual uploading comes in. What if we could replace your neurons one by one with artificial ones that perform the same function? Your consciousness would, in theory, remain intact throughout the process, slowly migrating from a biological to a digital substrate. This is the classic ship of Theseus paradox. If you replace every plank of ash ship, is it still the same ship? In this case, would you still be you? While this is a fascinating thought experiment, the technology to perform such a procedure is so far beyond our current capabilities that it remains purely in the realm of speculation. And the ethical minefield is just as vast. If digital immortality becomes possible, who gets to live forever? 
Only the wealthy who can afford it? This could create a new permanent class divide between the mortal and the digitally immortal. What about consent? Could someone be uploaded against their will? And what rights would a digital consciousness have? Could it be deleted or copied and sold? The social and legal implications are staggering, and we are completely unprepared for them. So, will we upload our consciousness to a computer? The honest answer is, probably not anytime soon and perhaps never. The technological hurdles are immense, and the philosophical problems may be insurmountable. While brain-computer interfaces will continue to revolutionize medicine and enhance our abilities, the dream of a complete mind upload remains a distant and perhaps unattainable goal. For now, our consciousness is tied to our biology, a beautiful and fragile dance of neurons that gives rise to the mystery of who we are. The quest for digital immortality forces us to confront the deepest questions about our own existence, and in the end, it may teach us more about what it means to be human than what it means to be a machine. What do you think? Would you upload your mind if you could? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the future of consciousness, be sure to like and subscribe for more explorations into the incredible world of science and technology. See you next time, whales.